Hello, my name is Heitor from Baclo.us. We are a backup specialist company. We provide support for Community Bacula and Enterprise Bacula Edition. And we have solutions for all sizes of companies. Today we're going to talk about the bare metal backup feature, which is very underrated, but it can be very useful in several situations. It's the ability to restore a fully operational machine to any state from without after a disaster if you only have the the blank disk or a blank disk or a blank machine you can restore the whole machine we have that for linux and windows and eventually you could also use that to perform some migrations to migrate a physical to a virtual machine or even to cloud respecting some restrictions for example the ue F5, if you have the in the original machine, you must have it in the restore machine also, and of course some drivers issues that the operating system might face when restoring the, the machine. I already performed a full bare metal backup with Bacula Enterprise. Uh, no, it's not in a day, but I already have done a full backup. It's very easy to configure the bare metal backup of a, a machine you just configure the, the Bacula file set to use the plugin you have also the option to exclude some Windows volumes in this case I will, I will go in to show the Windows bare metal you, you can exclude some Windows volumes if desired but if don't it is going to backup all the Windows machine with all the volumes. I already done that and now I'm going to perform a restore. I already performed the backup of this machine and I will create, I already created a new machine, a blank machine where I'm going to perform the restore. I just need to insert the, win the Bacula Enterprise Windows bare metal disk if it was a physical machine I could just burn a pen drive or a DVD and I'm going to boot from the bare metal image This machine must be able to connect to the My Bacula director via network. So I already set up Bacula Enterprise. Here I just need to choose the keyboard layout. And I already set up a generic backup client named Rescue-FD and also a console. In the, so I have already set a password, I just put an easy password for demonstrations. I need to put here the real name of the Bacla director and its address. I must be able to reach it using 9101 port. And the director must be able to connect to this machine also using the port 9102 for the restore. Here in the screen I select the client I want to restore. I select the job that I want to restore. So this is the last one I perform. It will show me the disks, the original disks from the virtual machine and the local disk that I'm going to perform the restore. I could also make some partitioning changes, but I'll just leave it automatic. And here a confirmation screen appears with all the information I need. It will, it's about to start the restore. It will take some minutes. It's not a very large machine but I'll just pause the video in a few moments 
so you don't have to wait okay eight minutes I'll just pause and now it's almost done it's important to see if there is any error message no everything seems nice you can see the partitioning script and at this time I can just remove the initialization disk and just reboot the machine you can see that the machine is starting and now I have two machines this was the original machine and this is the new machine that I restored with the bare metal Bacro Enterprise plugin so I hope that you enjoyed for my more information Bacro.us you can provide any solution for your environment thank you very much